Okay, Emerald signing in. I thought I'd read this, start by this video uh, by reading the legal definition um, of the word register. Because I, I read something on one of my, on my previous video where someone was actually telling someone not to uh, register the name but to record it. Now I've seen for years on the internet where people will tell someone do not register something but to record it. Because it, because it's been uh, there's a stigma behind the word register that make it uh, look as if you when you register something you give away ownership of it. And there's nothing in the legal definition there's no def there's no no uh legal sources um that backs that up that's ever taught that ever and I've never seen it and I look for it okay what I did find was the actual definition of the word register okay look up the legal definition of words before we start regurgitating what we hear on the internet because a lot of these so-called gurus are teaching shit that they didn't heard they heard years ago too and that they're teaching other people erroneous information and that's what causes a lot of confusion. So when you should be registering something, you won't register it because you think you're giving away ownership or something. You know, it's because of something somebody told you instead of looking the word up. Okay. Register to record. First thing it says, it says to record or enter pre precisely in a designated place, certain information in the public records as mandated by statute, a book, a book of public records. It says a register a register contains various types of information that is available to the public, such as births, dates, and marriages. The term register is also used as a designation for the public officials for the public official charged with the duty of maintaining such records. Okay? So um, let me see what's, what this other part says. No, that's irrelevant. Oh no, what's this sound here? Let me go. Let's go a little farther right here. Register. Okay, evidence. It says comma evidence. Say a book containing a record of facts as they occur, kept by public authority. Um, a register of births, marriages, and and burials. And it says uh, number two. And this is what they call this. What they call evidence. Although not originally intended for the purpose of evidence, public registers are in general admissible to prove the facts to which they are uh, uh, they relate. Okay, when you read, when you read, so when you register something into the records, you can use it as admissible evidence. Stop letting people tell you not to register stuff. Okay. Read to find out what the definition of register really means and start using this shit to your advantage. Start, stop, start reading, start licking up stuff and stop listening to other people tell you what to damn do. Because if you, if you take, if you let people regurgitate information to you and you, you're too lazy to look up words, you will be misled and you, and I'm talking about for years and you wonder why shit is not working for you. This thing specifically says, although not intended for the purpose of evidence, public registers are in general admissible to prove the facts to which they relate okay so if you want to prove you register a name you want to prove that you are the, the grantor the beneficiary of that name you're the one that's doing conduct yet you're the one that's supposed to benefit from from doing business with that name you register that name and you record that into the records register record same damn thing the first thing it tells you that it's a is, is, is it means to record register means to record okay so it's the same damn thing and you register it into the records for the public officials to hold to keep it in their books. You can you can get a certified copy of that particular record and you file that into your court case attached to a motion or whatever you're going to attach it to. You 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 admit you, you file that thing into your court case. You proving what you're saying. If you're stating that you are the beneficiary of that name and you attach that that a certified copy of that register that registration of that trade name into that thing, then you're proving exactly what you're saying and it's not and what you're saying is not hearsay. It's you got admissible evidence proving what you just said. Okay, so understand what understand what it means to register something into the county records. Okay, stop letting people tell you not to register stuff that needs to be registered. 
You, you, when you register something, you take a certificate. You can always go back, and that that's a permanent record. They don't take those records. They don't. They don't. They don't erase those records. Once they record them, they leave them there. It's there until you die, and it's there even after you're dead. I've seen uh, there's a there's even a um there's even a, a video on YouTube where they even recorded slaves as property, and those that those registration those those uh those records are still there. And the, all those, even the slave owners were even, they even dead. But that re those records are still there because it's history. You're not to, they're not to take them out of there. So anytime you go back there and you want to go to that book and that page number to get to get a certified copy of that thing, you use that thing as admissible evidence to prove the facts related to that case. You know what I'm saying? So when you want to prove that you are the, you are the, 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 the you're the, the beneficiary of that all caps name once you register that damn thing, you get your certified copy of it. Not just a copy, but a certified copy. What I mean by that is you go, you can go to the county, you ask them for a copy of that, of that, you know, for that, uh, that record, and you ask them to certify it. That's where they stamp it. They will stamp it with their with they'll stamp it and they'll see it and they'll have their seal stamped onto that document and they'll they'll have their, their reading signature on that on that seal confirming that this is a certified copy of our records a certified copy of the real record of the original record and you can always use that thing as as evidence to prove exactly what you're saying in your document that you're attaching it to that's what makes that's how you're going to prove your case okay stop letting people tell you not to register stuff okay Emeralds signing out.